Uh, hello everyone. Uh, I would like to thank you for attending this event uh, tonight. Uh, first, I would like to thank uh, all of you in Australia's aid and development sector for the uh, work you do. And uh, I would especially like to uh, thank the Australian uh, Council for International Development for giving me uh, the Sir uh, Ron Wilson Award. Uh, it is a great honor for me to accept this award. Uh, it has a special meaning for me uh, that I will uh, try to explain. Uh, uh, while I have been in uh, Manus Island, I have been so uh, interested to learn uh, more about Australia's history and uh, to think about the parallels between the colonial history of Australia, uh, the colonial uh, treatment of PNG and Manusians, and the history of Kurdistan, my homeland. Uh, for example, as a Kurd, I have felt a kind of uh, kinship with the Aboriginal uh, owners of the land in uh, Australia uh, the, because both of us had uh, our land taken by others and have suffered under the foreign system uh, imposed on us. Uh, a few years ago, just after we were allowed uh, outside of Manus prison during the days, uh, someone sent me some uh, movies on uh, USB. Uh, I had not uh, had the chance to watch uh, movies for a long time uh, and uh, watch them uh, eagerly. Uh, I was so affected by a particular movie on the U that USB called uh, The Rabbit Proof uh, Fence. Uh, I learned for the first time about the stolen generation uh, and I felt such sadness for those people uh, separated from their families and uh, I saw how this uh, pattern is still uh, repeating in Australia and in a different way in places uh, like Manus and Nauru uh, where people are separated from their families for years and uh, have no way to uh, reach them and no way to know if they will ever see uh, them again. Uh, talking about rabbit proof fans, over the last few years I, uh, I learned more about some of the inspiring people who have fought back against that cruelty in Australia. Uh, including many Aboriginal people and their supporters. Uh, I must admit that when I first hear, uh, I was nominated for the Sir uh, Ron Wilson Award. I didn't know his name, but uh, learning about who he was and his role in trying to help the stolen generations, I am deeply uh, honored to receive the uh, an award in his name. Uh, I am also so grateful and happy to receive this acknowledgement and recognition all of my efforts and activities after more than five years. Uh, when I left Iran in May 2013, I never imagined I would end up in a, a situation like this. I left Iran uh, religious dictatorship because of my journalism and cultural activities and started my journey hoping to make a life in a safety in a free country. I couldn't imagine how long and dangerous my journey would be or that I have end up in a, a prison on the other side of the world. I have witnessed many people uh, dying here uh, and many people suffering and after five years I am still in limbo. 
uh, my journey continues and I don't know where I will end up or how I will get there. Uh, when the Australian government exiled me to Manus, uh, I uh, suddenly found myself in a place that was very strange to me and the conditions inside the prison were uh, very harsh. Uh, I started to work as an uh, unknown uh, source and did that for more than two years. It is only then that I started to publish my work under my real name, uh, which still continues uh, three years later. Uh, I remember that when I started, uh, nobody outside knew about what was happening on Manus. I promised myself that uh, even if only one person reads my work, I will write for that individual person. Now, I am happy that after all these years, many people are aware of the situation here and we were able to record the history of this prison and expose how this inhuman system is working. Uh, honestly, I am so uh, tired, but I believe that we have no choice but to keep struggling and keep writing. That's what Sir uh, Ron Wilson did, and that's what many other people in Australia are doing to work for justice. Uh, receiving this award gives me even more energy to continue. Uh, in the end, I would like to thank you, uh, Helen uh, Davidson. Uh, Helen is here tonight to uh, receive the award. She and Ben Doherty at uh, Guardian Australia and my friends in the Saturday paper are always supporting me in this way and I cannot thank them enough. Uh, I believe the uh, government uh, could not continue uh, this barbaric policy in Manus uh, and Nauru uh, without uh, systematic censorship. And it is why they have uh, tried to keep the outside media away. But these individual media organizations have been the independent voices over the past five years, and I am happy that I have uh, been a part of them and their work. Uh, thank you again to all of you for your support and acknowledgement. I hope to meet uh, many of you uh, one day.